It's the end of the world as we know it, and I feel fine because I've just decided to give up. A climate change analysis released to the UN last year forecasting the devastating irreversible effects to the Earth if we don't cut carbon emissions to zero by 2050 was just found by members of the scientific community to be too optimistic. And now an analysis of that report suggests that there's a high likelihood of the human civilization coming to an end in that same time frame. That means that a report predicting the end of the world as we know it didn't go far enough in telling the world's leaders how the earth is going to turn into a literal apocalyptic nightmare from which human civilization will crumble. So I'm here to explain how basically the issue of climate change is well past me telling you to recycle or reducing your carbon footprint by riding a bike or driving a Tesla. So I guess I'm just explaining why we should all just give up. I, I guess. I mean, things could get worse, but there's nothing that we as individuals can do to make anything any better. In 2008, climate scientist James Hansen wrote a paper warning Congress that if the planet's overall temperature were to increase just one degree Celsius, we would see, quote, practically irreversible ice sheet and species loss. A decade later, in 2018, the National Academy of Sciences warned the world that we were just 10 to 20 years from seeing this all happen because we had fallen short of addressing this issue. And now, this one degree rise in global temperature may actually send the Earth into a series of unstoppable, self-perpetuating, runaway environmental events that would make most of the land on Earth unlivable. And just recently, the UN's climate report told world leaders that if we don't do something soon, the planet will warm roughly a degree and a half within the next 12 years, which, according to evaluations of the report, means a dramatic increase in the risks of more and worse floods, longer droughts, and extreme weather events that would impact hundreds of millions of people. So a group of Australian scientists from the National Center for Climate Restoration said that these reports didn't actually go far enough. They posit that human civilization will begin crumbling starting as early as 2050 due to the destabilizing effects of climate change. But to be fair, these are scientists coming from a place on Earth where literally everything is trying to kill all of humanity all of the time. So you can probably take that report with like a grain of salt. Here's what matters. Most of these reports are warning about a global temperature rise that will inevitably push the Earth beyond the point of no return onto a one-way express train to the apocalypse. And the fucked up part is that since the time that most of these reports were written, that one degree rise in global temperature and the carbon limit that they warned against in the atmosphere have already happened. The CO2 levels in the atmosphere are currently the highest that the Earth has seen in the past 800,000 years. We've passed the point of no return. So while it seems like climate change won't kill us all off by 2050, there is a chance it could force mass migrations in places like the Middle East where temperatures will rise to levels too dangerous for humans to live. And it could cause mass famine and displace hundreds of millions of people, starting with the most impoverished while drastically increasing poverty all over the globe. Here's the bottom line. All of this is real. The drastic temperature rise, the longer droughts, the floods, the stronger hurricanes, the sea level rise, the extinction of species, it's no longer a question of if, it's now just a question of when. And unless as a global community we drastically change, really cut our carbon emissions in half, within the next few decades, life on Earth will not be the same. And there's a chance a lot of it just won't exist. We can't believe in the magic of recycling or technology that doesn't exist yet, or a backwards belief that we as a massively ballooned global population will just figure it out. We have to urge our lawmakers on a worldwide level to move our society in a completely new carbon cognizant and responsible direction, or else the next generation of children, the ones whose parents grew up compulsively doing Fortnite dances in public, will have to grow gills. We have to ask more of our world leaders. 
or we can just give up. Hey, it's Lee, and if you want to see more of these explainers, then comment below and tell us what you want me to explain. I read all the comments. I sit at home with my laptop open and I cry. <laughs>